Hey, what's happening there, hat folks? Uh, G the Hat Guy here. I'm back with another awesome uh, hat video here for you. Uh, for this video, we're going to be uh, showcasing how to put the combination of uh, items together with hats. Okay, you've got hats, uh, you know, coats, and then uh, shoes. Okay, shoe combinations. And, you know, again, like I always say, you know, this is not written in stone, this is just some options. You know, depending on what you have in your wardrobe or what you want to purchase from the store or whatnot, you know, you can put your own combinations together. You know, this is just sort of like a uh, blueprint, you know, type thing, you know, for you with this video. You know, just to give you some ideas, some insights, and enlightenment to what is possible and what you could put together for yourself. Okay. Um, so, we're going to be talking about uh, styling hats, coats and shoes for fall and winter pea coats chucker boots loafers and etc okay that's what we're gonna be uh, uh, talking about uh, for this video here okay so let's get uh, right into it yeah so as you can see right in front of me here uh, you know with this particular coat we've got a pea coat here I don't know if the uh, camera here is doing justice to the color but this is sort of like a uh, like an olive green like a standard olive green color okay I'm not sure how it's coming through with the recording here but it's a stand olive green yeah I don't know if you could get yeah I think the color is coming in better now olive green uh, and this is uh, you know, it's got the huge lapel, you know, uh, standard uh, Pico style, old school. It's got the side hand pockets there, double breasted button, you know. She's got the uh, uh, lapel, uh, the, the cuffs right there by the, uh, by the wrist area, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's got, it's got the huge signature uh, collar, Pico collar there. Uh, the back of it, I'll show you. See the back. That's what the back looks like. Okay, it's got that break towards the uh, waist area. Okay, it's sort of like a three-quarter length uh, type, uh, or just back. Yeah, you know, past your uh, past your waistline. You know, uh, coat definitely. You know, but I say about halfway down the knees, whatnot. You know, for standard height, you know, if you're about five, you know, say about five nine, five ten, five eleven, right around there. Okay. Um, it's got the split in the bottom there too. Okay, so let's see here. Let me place it back down here. So, like I said, you know, it's like your standard olive green color. What you're looking at for something like this. Let's see. It's got the. Uh, this one is actually online. It's uh, it's woven, made in Europe. Uh, I think it's Eastern European. Uh, so what this is made. There is no lining on the inside. It's got the uh, inner pocket there. Okay. Nice uh, red color for the lining for the uh, inside there. It's got another pocket over here. And uh, like I said, it's got your side, your upper hand pockets right there on the top. It's got these other pockets, you know, here. Uh, some square pockets. You can put stuff in, of course. Okay, so with hat combinations on this one, you could do, you know, something like this. You got a nice fedora hat in an olive green color. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like the color on that pico kind of goes in and out or something. Uh, from my end, I think my camera might be my camera playing tricks on me here. But yeah, um, it's a European fur felt, olive green fedora as you can see with multicolor feather. It's got some of that copper, beige, white, black, and that feather color. Very nice multicolor feather. Same color as the hat band there, the ribbon hat band. It's got the raw edge. You know, the edge of the brim is not. Uh, 
doesn't have the binding, the ribbon binding on it, it's raw, so it just cut off and left open like that. That's what you call a raw edge. It's got the cowhide uh, sweatband, the satin lining on the inside. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so you could do something like that. Okay. And, uh, let's see, let me get the shoes here. Bear with me here, folks. Uh, recording with one hand, trying to show you uh, the merch here with another hand. So bear with me. Yeah, you can do something like this. Again, whatever you have or whatever you're looking to purchase, you know, uh, to put your own combination together. You know, you've got the olive green uh, uh, wingtip shoes here with the brogan. It's got the medallion, the signature design for uh, for wingtip or brogue shoes, as they would say in the, in the UK, uh, in England, whatnot. Brogues. It's got the brogan on there. Okay. Uh, it's got the contrast stitching in the sole and also the contrast stitching on the uh, shoe itself. You got some patina, some burnt uh, painted on hand painted patina marks on there to kind of give it that burnish type look. And you see that patina look? It's got the leather sole stitched right there. It's got the contrast lacing, okay, in the beige color as well as the stitches. Very nice. It's got leather lining, leather insole. I've got the uh, the shoe tree inside this here but yeah something like this you can put the combination together you know will look really good okay and then if you want to do a sweater uh, you know you want to do uh, maybe like a uh, light or medium olive green you know dress pants you could do that you could do chinos uh, I won't go with like your typical uh, uh, tan color chinos, you know, if you have uh, like an olive green chino, like a medium light olive green chino or something like that, I'll do that, but everything doesn't have to be matchy matchy from the top, from top to bottom like I always say, you know, you can do a sweater with this, maybe a sweater that's got some olive green, the same medium olive green uh, with another color, you know, uh, you know, maybe with white or even beige mixed in, that type of thing. Uh, you can do a, a dress shirt, you know, with a couple colors. Again, with the medium olive green and another color, something like that, you could do that. Uh, you could do jeans with a medium wash on it. Or, like I said, dress pants uh, in a medium olive green type color. You could do that as well. Uh, uh, yeah, or, or chinos, you know, you could do that. Okay, so you've got several different options for something like this. Um, let's see here. Uh, Here's another hat here. There's another hat. This is a shorter, uh, shorter brim, stingy brim hat. Europe again, European fur felt. It's got the center dent. It's got the multicolor feathers. You see some copper, some chocolate brown, some beige, white, black, and that feather there. Very nice. Uh, you've got the deeper red uh, hat band ribbon color on the side. On that, on this one. Got your cowhide, uh, sweatband, satin lining. Okay. This one, the uh, the edge on the brim is flipped over and sewn, so you got a brown bound edge there. Okay. It's flipped over and sewn then, instead of a raw edge. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So you could do. There's another option for you. You could do something like that. You know as well with that combination there again jeans you know chinos maybe like a uh, same color as the shoes if you have uh, dress pants or chinos in that same color uh, medium or lighter olive green color you could do that and then do a sweater in another color that kind of go with it or something that's got some of that olive green color in it as well but everything doesn't have to be exactly all the same color from top to bottom you know kind of break up the color you know, and then you could do something like jeans. Like I said, they'll break up the color, like a medium wash, blue jeans or something, or uh, maybe another uh, uh, color jeans that'll kind of work with it, kind of break up, you know, break up the uh, monotony of the color. You can do that as well. Folks, uh, again, I'm G the Hat Guy. You know, uh, I'm a hat retailer. Uh, 
you know, and I make hats. I do all kinds of things with hats. I fix hats, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I also, uh, I'm also into shoes. I don't sell shoes though, but I'm a big fan of shoes, you know, whatnot. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my playlist section. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, you're getting some insight, some enlightenment. And again, this is just to kind of give you some ideas, sort of like a blueprint, you know, whatnot. Uh, you could do your own combinations. Uh, with what you have or if you're looking at purchasing something if you like the look that type of thing um, So subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up. That's how you can help the channel uh, one of the ways you can help the channel, you know, what not uh, and then uh, uh, Yeah, you know share with somebody else who might be interested in this type of content They're into hats or they're looking at getting into hats also check me out uh, on Facebook uh, my hat group is a social hat group, The Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy. The Hatters, H A T T E R S Lounge, L O U N G E by G the Hat Guy. Uh, you can post your own pictures. I want to see what kind of hats are you wearing. I want to see your hat collection. I want to see how you put your outfits together. Your hat, your 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 uh, ensemble, your your you know your clothing with your shoe combinations with your hats. I want, everything revolves around the hats, though. Okay, it's all about the hats. So. You know, it's got to include the hats and, and how you put the hats together with your clothing and your shoes for your wardrobe and stuff like that. Okay, so I like to see those pictures. Search for that on Facebook, The Hatter's Lounge by G. The Hat Guy. Once you find it, uh, go ahead and send me a request to join the group and I'll add you on and then you can go ahead and start posting your own pictures. But we do have rules. No pic, make sure you read the rules. No spam. Okay, no junk, that type of thing. It's a social hat group to socialize. You know, and kind of enjoy sharing knowledge around hats and stuff, okay? Uh, that's what it's all about, okay? So, uh, check that out. Also on Instagram, it's G the Hat Guy, okay? Check me out, follow me on G the Hat Guy. I'm trying to keep up with all the social platforms in the mix of uh, being busy and stuff like that. So, uh, again, give the video a thumbs up, you know, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Um, okay, let's see what else we got here. So, that's that one. Uh, let me see what else I have for you here. Uh, with the olive, that's the olive uh, green combination. Let's see what else I have here for you. Bear with me here, folks. You know, something like this uh, coat too. You know, you can definitely do. This is sort of like a newsboy cap. It's a, uh, what you call a hawker cap. You know, the panels are not cut out on this one, like the eight panels. You know, it's got the center button. Uh, this is wool. You know, you can do that too. If you have an IV cap or a driving cap, you can do that as well. Or a newsboy cap, you can do that with this coat too. You know, again, with your pants or jeans or, uh, excuse my voice here, your chinos, wherever you're going to wear with it, you can do that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see what else we have here. So let me put this one away here. Uh, let me take a look here. Put that away. Let's see what else we got. Here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's see what else we got here. Bear with me here, folks. I'm trying to, you know, I'm recording with one hand and trying to show you the merch, merchandise with another hand here. It's another nice coat. Okay. Uh, this one has got the, uh, similar to your peacoat style. It's got the rib, you know, neckline for extra warmth. Okay. It's got the uh, diamond quilt lining sort of like a nylon uh, polyester blend of rayon on the inside here and this has got sort of like a uh, uh, like a herringbone type uh, weave type design you know with the blue and the uh, black in it yeah I, I, I don't know if you can catch that you know show you that she's got the herringbone you know with the black and the blue there. Mm hmm See that. Yeah, it's got the side two side pockets. Okay. It does have uh 
an inside pocket as well. Look at that one. Again, it's got the zipper, you know, so for extra warmth, you can zip it up and then button it on the outside. And again, nothing is written in stone. This is just some uh, some ideas, you know, just to, you know, pique your interest type thing, you know, whatnot. Uh, you know, give you some ideas what's what's available. Let's see. Um, let me move that over there. Let me get this hat out here. This one here, this is a uh, fur felt rabbit hat, teardrop top. The brim on this about two inches or so. This one has got the uh, edge binding, the ribbon edge binding in there. Nice leather cowhide sweatband, satin lining on the inside. Okay, very nice fedora hat. Okay, something like this you can do with that combination right there. Okay, and then. Uh, let me see here, uh, as far as the shoes concerned, let's see what we have for you. Um, take a look here. Um, as far as the shoes concerned, let me see. I've got a few different options here. Bear with me here, folks. Let's see. Yeah, you can do this loafer here. Okay, you've got this tassel loafer, suede, or it can be leather, you know, whatnot, what have you. This is a combination, so rubber and leather, so this is brand new out of the box, made in Italy. Okay, uh, whatever you have in your closet or whatever you want to purchase, it's got that leather lining and leather insole right there. Okay, yeah, so you know, you could do something like this again. Uh, you can do jeans uh, with a medium wash or you know, dress pants. You could do uh, medium blue dress pants and then a sweater, okay, maybe like a round neck sweater or uh. Uh, uh, yeah, you can do like a uh, three-quarter uh, three-quarter uh, neck with a zipper type sweater as well. Uh, V-neck sweater, you know, as well. You wear something else underneath, you know, uh, like a t-shirt or, or a shirt, you know, uh, a dress shirt underneath. You could do that, okay. Uh, so jeans, you could do chinos. That's like a medium blue chinos, you know, type. You know, I won't go with the uh, tan color uh, uh, or khaki colored uh, standard uh, chinos on this one. Um, you know, dress pants, you know, like I said, sweater dress shirt combination. You know, again, this is just to kind of give some ideas as, as to what is possible. Nothing is written in stone, just a blueprint. You know, whatever you have in your closet or whatever you're looking to purchase, you can put your own combinations together. But it's just kind of, just to kind of help to you know, juggle some ideas in your head and, and give you some inspiration, you know, what nice, what, what this is all about, okay? Yeah, so you can do something like this. This is a nice combination, you know, as well. Um, Let's see what else I have here. One moment. I think I have something else here besides this, uh, this, uh, tassel uh, loafer here let me get that let's see let me put that over here bear with me here folks yeah I've got these uh, chucker boots yeah I've got these chucker boots here you know these are casual uh, uh, 
dress casual chucker boots okay suede in that medium blue color it's got that lug sole there combination of rubber it's got some leather uh, patching sewn on there to the sole as well so you could do something like this uh, as well you know or dress boots you can do Chelsea boots that's got the uh, slip on boots it's got the elastic uh, goring on both sides you could do something like that as well this look here you know I do jeans you know you could do khakis again it have to be khakis that's like medium blue khakis you know you can possibly pull off maybe a navy blue you know I don't want to go too dark you know uh, navy blue but that might work you know what not you know try to go with the same blue as the shoes you know the same color as the shoes if possible okay or maybe same uh, yeah yeah as the shoes you know if possible I'll, I'll, I'll go with on that you know uh, but medium blue wash jeans will work you know uh, if you have dress pants it's like medium blue uh, you know color maybe as the coat or as the hat you know uh, or even the shoes you know that work too okay so there's a variety of ways that you can go um, with something like this whatever kind of shoes you got loafers oxford shoes oxford boots chelsea boots uh you know there's several ways you can go okay um so that's that one there Let's see what else i got for you um put that away there bear with me here I think I've got one last one for you you know for this video again folks if you're learning something gaining something you're enjoying the video give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out the playlist section I've got several videos about hats and caps again I'm G the head guy you know I sell hats I'm a hat retailer also, I make hats. I do all kinds of things. Fix hats, all kinds of stuff. And I'm also into shoes as well. I don't sell shoes, though, but I'm a huge shoe fan. It's all about the accessories for me, you know. Um, Yeah, so that's that one. Okay. So let's kind of move on to, I think, the final stuff that I got for you guys here. Uh, check me out on uh, Facebook, The Hatter's Lounge by G The Hat Guy. That's the name of my hat group. It's a social hat group. You can post your own pictures. I want to see what kind of hats are you wearing. How do you put your hat shoe combinations together with your coats and your outfits? How are you putting that stuff together for the season? You know, you know, uh, we're in the, you know, uh, winter time now officially. Just came out of the fall. You know, so how do you put that stuff together for the fall and the winter with your coats and stuff? You know, and your hats, your combinations. Okay, I want to see that. You can post your own pictures on there. Make sure you look it up. Search for it. The Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy. Again, the Hatter's, H-A-T-T-E-R-S, Lounge, L-O-U-N-G-E, by G the Hat Guy on Facebook. Search for that. Once you find it, send me a request to join the group. It's a private hat group. Uh, make sure you uh, you agree to the rules. No spam. And, uh, you know, I can add you to the group. Once I add you, you can post your own pictures and stuff. You know, like I said, I'd like to see how you put your own combinations together. Your hats, you know, I want to see your hat collection. What kind of hats do you have in your closet? What kind of hats are you wearing? Okay, i like to see, you know, I'm making these videos. I'm showing you stuff, you know, how I put combinations together. I'm showing you different hats and stuff like that. So I'd like to see how do you put your stuff together? You know, what, what kind of hats do you have in your collection? Okay. Again, it's G the Hat Guy. Share the video, video with somebody else who might be interested in this kind of content. They're looking at getting into hats or they're already into hats. You know, that type of thing. And say hello in the comment section. You know, say hello in the comment section. You know, um, you know, still the beginning of the new year. You know, say happy new year or something. You know, uh, you know, with with uh, wishes and, and all that great stuff, okay? Uh, all right. So this one that we have here, again, this is... Uh, you know, double-breasted, you know, similar peacoat style as well on this one. Okay. Uh, it's got the huge lapels on this here. It's got the rib collar on the neckline there. Again, for extra uh, extra warmth with the zipper on the inside there. 
you know, it's, it's got the the satin lining, you know, the quilted satin lining on the inside there, and uh, let's see. This one here, it's got a zipper button uh, right there. Uh, zipper pocket, a zip, zip pocket there. Mm. Okay. And that's the only pockets that it's got. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, this look here. You know, you can do something like this. Um, I've got... I've got this hat over here. You can do something like this. It's a nice European uh, luxurious uh, fur felt. You know, it's got that velour. That velour luxury uh, fur felt finish on there. Multicolored feather. Got some uh, copper, some... Uh, brown in there, beige, white, and black. It's got that rope band, that very unique looking rope band. Center dent, two pinches in the front. Nice clean finish. It's got the raw edge. See, the edge is cut off. Okay, it's not sewn or bound on there. It doesn't have the ribbon on there. Cow high sweat band, satin lining. Okay. You can do something like this with that one. With that look and this is dark navy the coat itself is dark navy it's not black so i hope it's not coming in as black it might look black on camera even in person it looks black kind of but it's dark navy is what it is the hat is dark navy as well so um, but yeah you got that look right there and then you know you can add something like this this is a dark navy uh uh ankle Chelsea boot. It's got the goring on both sides, the elastic goring. This is made in Italy. It's got a leather sole with the stitches there. Okay, very nice, funky look. Okay, so it's got a little, like a rocker type uh, edge, you know, type look to it. But yeah, you can do with something like this, you know, you can do that look right there that's a nice look nice combination okay and you could do any type of boots you know if you want to do um wing tape boots or oxford boots or shoes you know that'll work too when the winter though as long as it's not snowing you could wear something like this it's got the leather sole on it you know as long as it's not snowing outside so That'd be good. If it's dry and cold, that's fine. Okay. Very nice look there. Something different. Again, you could do jeans. You know, if you want to do, uh, I'll do dress pants with this, you know, uh, uh, like a dark blue, uh, dark navy uh, blue jeans. Sure, of course. You know, that work perfect. And then you could do some kind of sweater. Maybe you could do a dark navy sweater that's got another color in it. You don't want everything to be matching, matching from top to bottom. Okay, you can do a dress shirt, another color dress shirt that'll kind of go with with uh, with the whole ensemble, you know, as well. Okay, very nice look, very unique look. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, again, these are just insights uh, and uh, you know blueprint. You can put your own combinations together based on what you have, or if you purchase something, you're looking at purchasing something, you know. So. Um, but yeah, hope you find it beneficial. You got some value from this video on, uh, again, styling hats, you know, um, for fall and uh, and winter uh, season what whatnot. Again, I'm G the Hat Guy. You know, I sell hats. I'm also into shoes as well. I don't sell shoes. I'm a huge fan of shoes. Uh, I don't sell coats either or whatnot. Uh, um, this is just all about the accessories for me. So, um, but uh, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, uh, check out my playlist section. I've got several videos about hats and caps. Uh, give your video a thumbs up. Share with somebody else who might be interested in this type of content. They're looking at getting into hats, etc. 
check out my uh, social platform uh, on Facebook. It's The Hatter's Lounge by G The Hat Guy. Again, that's The Hatter's Lounge by G The Hat Guy. Uh, it's a private hat group. Send me a request to join. Look that up. Send me a request, and I can add you to the group. Give me a few days. I might be busy sometimes. Uh, and then uh, I add you. You can post your own pictures. I want to see what kind. How do you put your hat and shoe combinations together? How do you put what what, what kind of hats do you wear? I want to see your hat collection. You know, how do you put your ensembles with your coats for for the fall and winter together with your hats and your shoes? How do you do yours? You know, I'm making this video to share. You know my ideas with you so you know i'd like to see what you're doing okay on the other end okay don't be a, a spectator be a participator okay in the process okay again it's a social hat group so check us out the hatter's lounge by g the hat guy i wish everybody again happy 2024 have a prosperous blessed graceful uh and productive year of abundance uh the best year yet 2024 Thank you for watching the video. Hope you gained something, okay, uh, and got something beneficial. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And until the next video, again, I'm out. I'm G the Hat Guy. Salute. Bye.